Next go to next news is from the USA. The title says the evangelical homophobe claims gay people want to destroy the natural family. Now she's getting a divorce. Oh, the, sorry. The evangelical homophobe who claimed that gay people. This title is not written very well. Oh, sorry. There's a dot there. So the person that says uh, homophobes are destroy the natural family. Her family is being destroyed. Basically, this is like a ha ha pointing ha ha movement. Like this is not. I don't think this is fair. Okay, fine. Let's let's just read the summary first before I pass judgment on this. Uh, Elizabeth Johnson is saying known online. Okay, Elizabeth Johnson known online as an activist mommy, as the activist mommy has previously shown her uh, passion. In promoting fundamentalist biblical values by protecting LGBT plus protesting, not promoting, protesting. That was the complete opposite of what I meant to say. By protesting LGBT plus events, staging public burnings of LGBT inclusive magazines, and claiming that, uh, well, she is technically supporting them if she's buying them and burning them, she's funding them. So, and claiming that LGBT plus groups are sneaking into schools to rape the minds of children. That sounds a lot like what religion, the religious people are doing. In a, okay, then in a Facebook post, Johnson revealed that she had filed for divorce from the father of her 10, ch 10 children. Is, am I reading this right? So she filed a verse from her former father of her 10 children because he has been repeatedly unfaithful to me, citing adultery, pornography, and sexual immorality, which began 16 years ago, as well as psychological and emotional abuse. Okay, so a lot of pe people who are support LGBT rights might look at this and be like, "Ah, you think gay, you think gay LGBT breaks down families, but now your family is broken, blah blah blah." But you know, so how ironic. But this actually does not contradict. I don't think this contradicts any of this woman's uh, views, because I bet you, I bet you, she never thought that LGBT. Uh, stuff is the only thing that breaks um, what is it what did she call it biblical values right like if this if people wanted to be like haha -ha, see it, it's not LGBT it's actually your family is rotten by bad LGBT stuff I bet you she always thought that there are many things that is against biblical values LGBTQ stuff is just one of them and pornography and adultery is also another one. So she might be like, yeah, my family is broken because of the same things that I've always been saying are wrong. It's not LGBT stuff that broke my family. It was pornography and adultery and other un unbiblical stuff. So this is not a, a got you moment. I, I mean, I don't think it's fair for people to be happy over families breaking apart. Don't do that, even if you don't like what people are saying. Especially if you have 10 children. Like, are you happy for the 10 children that their family is breaking apart? Don't be happy that families are breaking apart. Don't be happy that anybody is suffering just because you don't like them. Don't be happy from suffering. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I'm just suggesting that it's not healthy. It's not... You don't... It's not... It's not... It's not, it's, I don't think it's mentally healthy for you to enjoy anyone's suffering, enjoy anyone's family breaking apart, or it's just not a good thing to enjoy. I don't think it's good for you, okay? Um, even if it's people that you think it deserve it, even if they deserve it, be like sadly, like think, like don't even, you don't even have to say it, just be like sadly they deserve it, so maybe something, oh they go to jail, but sadly they deserve it, something like that. Don't enjoy it, it's not good, I don't know, I, I mean it's my suggestion, I'm not, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's good to enjoy it, maybe it's healthy to enjoy it. I just think it's icky, okay? I feel icky, and maybe I'm wrong, somebody that has some, some mental experts somewhere tell me, if this is a good thing or a bad thing, I think it's unhealthy to enjoy suffering. 
Um, anyways, what do you, before I read the top comment, what do you think, Shopo? Okay, first of all, yeah, I agree that a family being broken is not really a good thing, but in this case, her 10 children, I hope they get into foster homes and not with either of the parents, because from what I read, if the husband was as abusive as she says, then the children are not good with him. And she, uh, I mean, suggests her followers about child beating stuff and everything from the Bible. So she is a child beater. I don't think the kids should go with Ooh. her as well. Okay. Maybe, so maybe in this case, it was a good thing that the family broke him apart. Yeah, so I, I was thinking about children. that. In this case, it for wasn't the, really a bad thing. For the sake of the children. Okay, maybe. Okay. Um, Todd is, is the top comment. He's saying hopefully she gets the coronavirus and goes to a faith healer for treatment. Hi, wow, okay. And uh, that seems very dark and uncalled for, and I don't agree. Um, Igor saying yes, but it's a natural divorce. Hmm. So they think, <laughs> so that's actually kind of funny. Because he's saying, like, well, yeah, but we did divorce, but at least it's not unnatural like gay people. So that, I guess um, it's a joke. Matthew saying this tends to happen with people who are obsessed with how other people live their lives they drop the ball in their own lives i think that's something that is fun to believe in without any evidence <laughs> i think this is just something people want to be true because they just want to believe that hateful people will get their due and you know they they get what they deserve but there's nothing i've seen that shows that that's true people are like oh people who are obsessed with how people live their lives their lives are going to be ruined this sounds to me more like wishful thinking than anything that is based on reality. I, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Jeff is saying all those prayers and her husband still couldn't keep his cock in his pants. Um, yeah, but again, this is funny and all. But again, religious people never claim that prayer is all it takes to keep you faithful. Right? So it's a, it's a straw man, but I guess it's just a joke. So... I think it's fine. I get uh, Is there any comments here that I need to read? No, 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 no. All right. Okay, you. I wanted to mention something again. Like, I mean, she has faced something like really her family being broken. She has faced some depressing like situations in her life recently. Mm. But one thing is interesting. Like, she's back on the streets outside abortion clinics, harassing people not to get abortions. And she's saying it like when your own soul is not like she's saying something like this. If your own soul is not right in the right mood or something, if you want to get it correct, do so by correcting others. Something like this. Ooh, that's a very harmful belief. Again, yeah. I don't feel I don't just because she's doing these things. I don't wish her sadness. I hope this is a woman that seems like she needs help. Right. We should feel sorry for these people and want them to get better and maybe do something more productive for their sims for themselves and their family we shouldn't wish them ill right don't wish people to be unhappy wish them to get better and do something that helps them i don't know like it's yeah. it okay so uh oh, yeah in the live chat uh, ag another godlet atheist is saying like uh, it's like her fa she cannot maintain her own family when she's preaching about family stuff and everything and he says karma um, I don't believe in karma really and I'm from a religion I, and my background is a religion which invented karma and it's right. stupid karma is stupid yeah St I, I think here's what I say like stupidity doesn't make you deserving of misery okay I don't think so I think I don't think I think it's unfair to people say, to wish misery on people because they're stupid stupid people deserve to be happy I think News. thank you for joining us subscribe to our channel hit the bell thingy if you haven't i don't know why what has what's holding you back okay if you haven't subscribed to our channel why haven't you subscribed to our channel explain that to us please like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, 
But nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But if there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritize. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 